Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Lock, and as you know, I've been very, very busy lately writing this cookbook, finishing it all up. I'm just about there with all the very final, final changes. I have to go through all these different things back and forth. We're in the layout process. Anyway, I'm finally able to focus on another new recipe, and because it's, we're in the chilly months here, and the holidays are right around the corner, I wanted to focus on one of my favorite dishes, but turning it into a soup. I love me some chicken cordon bleu, and I said, hey, I want to make it a stew or more like a chowder. Banjo, what you doing? You wanna be on the camera? Is that what you want? There he is, there he is! Guys, this one is super easy to make, like crazy super duper easy, um, and it's just really exactly what you'd expect. It's a chicken cordon bleu, but in a rich, delicious, cheesy, creamy a chowder soup. Let's go. But you you first over here, you go and you play with my socks, chew on my socks. Now let's go to the Instant Pot and we're gonna add in four tablespoons or a half a stick of salted butter. So I want to come down to my Instant Pot and I want to hit the saute button and I want to be at the high setting in terms of temperature, alright? Hit the start button. And now that my butter is melting and sizzling in the pot, I want to add in two shallots which I've diced up, as well as 8 to 10 ounces of a diced pancetta. And you can find the diced pancetta in your market in the like charcuterie section where they have like the dry salamis and the things you put out at a party like the cheese platters. And now let's stir that up in the pot and saute it in the butter for about five to eight minutes. And think of pancetta as a really thick cut bacon. And after about five minutes of sauteing our pancetta in the pot with the butter and shallots, you'll notice our pancetta is going to start getting crispy. Any of those fatty pieces have become nice and brown. Let's take a slotted spoon and remove all of our pancetta and some of our shallots, it's okay if they get caught up in there too, into a bowl where we can let them sit and uh, make sure you have some like paper towel lining the bowl so it absorbs any of the grease. Perfect, let's set that aside. And now to the pot where we have our pancetta grease and some butter remaining, let's add in one tablespoon or three cloves of crushed or minced garlic. And we'll saute this in the pot for one minute. And if you still have some pancetta in there, don't worry about it, just leave it be. It'll be just fine. Okay, now you'll notice the bottom of the pot might have some stickiness to it from when we sauteed our pancetta. That's totally normal and that's totally fine. But guess what guys, that's all about to go away because we're gonna deglaze it with a cup of a dry white wine such as a Chardonnay or a Sauvignon Blanc. And then you'll take a spatula or a wooden mixing spoon or anything like that and you literally just deglaze the bottom of the pot so everything gets nice and smooth and it's gonna literally come right up. The smell is unbelievable. Now, if you don't wanna cook with white wine, just add in a cup of broth at this point, but white wine really deglazes the bottom of that pot real well. Okay, and after about 30 seconds of the wine simmering, I'm now going to add in six cups of chicken broth or garlic broth if you'd like. And what's garlic broth, you might ask? Well, guys, it's this stuff right here. Better Than Bouillon makes it. I love this stuff. It's vegetarian, and it basically, it tastes like garlic bread, but in a broth. And you would add one teaspoon of the base to one cup of water, and that equals one cup of broth. That's how I like to do it, but you can use chicken broth, too. Whatever you wish. This is a chicken cordon bleu chowder, after all. Okay, now it's time to add our chicken to the pot. I got an entire chicken that's between a four and a five pound chicken at the grocery store, and I simply had the butcher just chop it into quarters. So I have, you know, two legs, two wings, two breasts, two thighs, just like that, and I wanna leave the skin on it and then add it to the pot. Leaving the skin on the chicken is gonna add remarkable flavor. You'll see what I mean. Now let's take our lid. Secure it. And now that I'm done sauteing and I want to pressure cook, I'm going to hit the cancel button and then I'm going to hit the pressure cook button, guys. I want to hit custom for this on the Duo Evo Plus model because I want to set my own time and I want to go for 10 minutes and I want to do that with by adjusting the time using the knob over here and I want to be at high pressure. Again, hit start. All right, so while our chicken's cooking in the pot, let's prepare our ham. All right, guys, because it's not a cordon bleu without some ham. I'm taking between one half to a whole pound of any kind of ham of your choice. A deli ham. This is a black forest, and I like it sliced thin. I think it's better than having it really chunky for the soup. We already have the pancetta, don't forget for that. So what I want to just do is slice this up into some little strands or some bite-sized pieces. So we look just like this when all said and done. Perfect, lovely little like strand slash little cubes of thin sliced ham, any of your choice. This is a half a pound, guys, and a lot of it is really there at this point. But if you want more, by all means, feel free to double it or just add a three quarters of a pound. It's up to you. I would say start out with this amount and then you could always add more to the soup when we actually add it in. All right, moving on. And now that we're done, we'll perform a quick release. 
and our pen just dropped. So what I want to do now is I want to take my lid off my pot. I'm turning my fan on so the smoke doesn't blow into my camera lens. And there we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now I want to just take some tongs and remove my chicken and put it in like a bowl for the time being and let it cool for a few minutes, all right? Because what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to pick all this chicken meat off my hand and I want to discard all the skin, the cartilage, and the bones. The reason why I cooked it directly in the broth with the skin and bones is because it adds such unbelievably rich flavor. And now I just want to let my chicken cool off on this plate for about five to ten minutes before I start to pick all the chicken meat out. But what I want to do here now is focus on the rest of my soup. I want to add in one cup of heavy cream or half and half as well as four cups, guys, of a shredded Swiss cheese, because it's not going to be cordon bleu without some shredded Swiss. I'm going to add in some a few batches, and I'm going to do it that way. It's best to whisk it in that way. There we go, and then again, just whisk. The heat of the broth itself is going to melt the cheese. Just keep whisking this. Here we go, it's our last batch here. Okay, here we go. We still have some looseness with our cheese, but that's all gonna change in just a second because guys, we're getting our immersion blenders out and we're gonna blend this all together. All right, and here we go, right in the pot. All right, perfect. Okay, to thicken my soup up a little bit, what I wanna do now is I wanna add in three tablespoons of cornstarch combined with three tablespoons of water. And we're gonna stir it until it goes from a thick consistency to a nice smooth one. And I got a little bit of a mess on my table. I'm only human, what can I tell you? And now I wanna hit the cancel button again, followed by the saute button again. And again, I wanna be at high, don't worry about the time, just leave it at an hour, okay? I wanna keep my temperature at high temperature or you know more, whatever your model is. Um, if you wanna change that, you can simply come back down here, pushing the button in the knob, and choose high, low, or custom, but I'm just gonna leave it at high, and then hit start. I wanna bring this up to a bubble. And then once it begins bubbling, let's stir that cornstarch slurry right in to thicken it up. All right, perfect. Just like a chowder consistency now. And the cornstarch keeps it gluten free. How do you like that? And now I'm gonna let those bubbles die down by turning my pot off. Or you could leave it on keep warm if you want. All right, now I'm gonna go to my chicken over here, which is now cool to the touch. I'm gonna peel off all the skin, remove all the cartilage and the bones, and then just toss my chicken meat right into the soup as I'm peeling it. Some moist, delicious chicken added right to the pot. And now with this, you can just discard it. If you wanna pour the rest of this in there, that's fine too, look at that. All the oils, perfect. Now I wanna add in my pancetta and my ham. And let's give that all a nice final stir. Now a final optional touch I like to add to the soup, guys, is going to be a tablespoon of a Dijon mustard like Grey Poupon. You don't have to add it, but I think it's gonna add some great kick to it. A nice flavor. And of course, you could also add more or less of the Dijon if you wish. If you want a second tablespoon, by all means, add a second tablespoon. And then just stir that up and it's gonna directly meld right into the soup. And another optional spice, which I really love to add, is a half a tablespoon of a Creole or a Cajun seasoning. I like to use this stuff, guys, here. Tony Shasheri's amazing. I'm adding a half a tablespoon, but you could add more or less to taste. And that, guys, right there is my finished chicken cordon bleu chowder. And I think the consistency is perfect. I don't want it to be too thick, but I don't want it to be too thin either. I think it's just right. And I'm gonna add this to some bowls and try it out. All right, and I'm gonna ladle some into this bowl right here. I love using an oversized mug for a soup bowl, especially like a chowder that's comforting like this, a nice creamy one. I wanna get plenty of chicken and ham in there. Nice. And there she is, guys. And by the way, if you wanna to top it with some oyster crackers, go for it. There's no rules, do whatever you want. All right, now I am ready to dig in. Let's go. And here it is, guys. I just love these mug bowl things. They're so great. All right, here we go. Look at this. First of all, everything with every bite here. If you love chicken cordon bleu, and if you love soup, or any kind of chowder, but you don't even like seafood, really, this is the soup for you, because this is a chowder without seafood at all. In fact, it's just chowder of cheese, and chicken, and ham, and bacon. Mm. This is divine. This is a lush, delicious soup. I love the little oyster crackers on top. If you want, you could have some croutons because typically a cordon bleu, the chicken's breaded. So put some croutons on if you want. Maybe the garlic butter ones, you know? Mmm. Chicken is so tender. All the ham mixed in with the chicken and that cheesy chowdery broth. 
And if you want to make it even heartier, you guys can even add some beans, be it one or two 15 and a half ounce cans of uh, white cannellini or navy or great northern beans. You could add that in at the very end when you're stirring in the Dijon and the Creole or Cajun seasoning, if you wish. It's your decision. This is one for the soup books. Guys, if you enjoy these recipes, check out PressureLowCooking.com because I have a ton of recipes there. I have a cookbook coming out, by the way. Pre-order it. You're not going to want to miss this book, guys. Every single recipe is step-by-step -step instructions with visual photos along the way. Yes, you can't make a mistake because there's pictures to show you what you're supposed to be doing. Go to Facebook.com slash PressureLowCooking and like that page for any time a new update comes out, like a recipe or a sale on an item or some tips or whatever you want. Check that out, and of course, at Pressure Luck on YouTube. Hi, you're here right now. Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Hit that little bell to make sure you get notifications that you see all my new videos when they come out. Thank you so much, guys. And just remember, if you're craving a chowder or a stew, you can have it with chicken cordon bleu. See you later. Mmm. Delicious. This is delicious. And if you want some veggies in there, like some corn or some carrots, feel free to... Hey, I'm doing a video, Benj. Over here. Oh, look who it is! It's Banjo! Banjo smells the soup. He can smell the cheese. He loves cheese. That's what he wants. But guys, if you also want some corn or some carrots, feel free to toss it in there. Like about like 10 ounces or so, frozen even, uh, right when you're uh, pressure cooking the chicken in the pot, alright? Banjo, what do you think? What do you think? He can't stop looking at the soup. He's like sniffing. He's just looking at it. I know, I know. It's not good, darling. Alright guys, thank you so much, and I'll be back later. In the meantime, Banj! All right, I know, look, he's jumping. You can't even see him jump. Uh, we're gonna get you some, uh, some, some dog food.